What's going on everybody, it's Warren, and welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and MCU, and in the midst of all the hype for Spider-Man No Way Home and the upcoming films like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, and other huge movies coming out this year, we finally have some news about a certain group that everybody has been waiting for, Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. We have an update from the director himself, John Watts, who recently directed Spider-Man No Way Home, so he did a great job with that, so hopefully he brings that to the Fantastic Four, which I'm sure he will. But he recently gave a tiny update about the Fantastic Four in a recent interview, and we have some insiders providing some information about the cast as well, when we can expect an announcement. And amidst all of this, there are some casting leaks that apparently got out that suggest quite Quite a bit of an unusual cast listing. Whether or not it's true, who knows, but I'm excited to be talking about the Fantastic Four. I think it's one of the most anticipated projects coming up within the next few years from Marvel Studios. So let's dive into it, but first, if you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos and be sure to hit that notification bell. Now, in a weird way, we kind of have Spider-Man No Way Home and Final Destination 6 to thank for this tiny little update about the Fantastic Four. Variety did an article about John Watts and Final Destination 6 and Spider-Man No Way Home. Of course, they're talking about how much money Spider-Man No Way Home has made so far and how successful the film has been, and they talk about how the Final Destination franchise could be revived with John Watts. But here's where we get our really good Fantastic Four news. The article made sure to state this very plainly. It says, John Watts is only set to produce Final Destination 6. His next directing gig will still likely be Marvel Studios' reboot of the Fantastic Four superhero franchise, which remains undated. Now, this news comes right in the middle of the rumor that the Fantastic Four, the MCU Fantastic Four, is set to begin production very early in 2023. And this all is lining up so far, because if John Watts is going to be a producer on Final Destination, and Final Destination 6 is set to come out in 2022, that frees him up to direct the Fantastic Four, which, in case you didn't know, and I should have mentioned it by now, it is confirmed John Watts will be directing the Fantastic Four, but that makes him free to direct it or start the project in early 2023. And get this, there is actually an unknown movie title slot at the end of 2023 in Marvel Studios' lineup. Now, originally, when Marvel came out a while ago and they released their entire production timeline all the way out to 2023's end, there were actually three untitled movie slots. They all had release dates, but there was no name for the projects. However, since Marvel Studios in October recently delayed the bulk of their upcoming slate, essentially pushing all of the movies back, they removed two of those upcoming untitled projects. However, they left one untitled project in the November 3rd of 2023 three slot. And if you consider this fact right here, this slot is most likely for the Fantastic Four. At Disney's Investor's Day, they announced all of their upcoming projects and the Fantastic Four was one of those projects announced. And out of all of those movies, the Fantastic Four was the only one announced that doesn't have a release date set to it. So it would be logical to think that this is for the Fantastic Four. And if we combine all of these facts together, it does seem like that is the case. Rumor has it that production for Fantastic Four will begin early 2023. According to Variety, John Watts' next directing gig is going to be the Fantastic Four. And if it does begin production in early 2023, that is plenty of time to make a movie for the November 3rd untitled release date for 2023. So it looks like we might not have to wait as long as we thought for the Fantastic Four film, which is obviously awesome on so many different levels. One, we finally get to see who the cast is, which I'm actually about to talk about in just a second, but two, once the Fantastic Four come, that means the X-Men shouldn't be that far behind them. Because if you think back to 2019 San Diego Comic-Con, where Kevin Feige first revealed Marvel's Phase 4 slate, he mentioned the Fantastic Four, and he also mentioned along with them, mutants, in which he said in an interview later on that mutants and the X-Men are interchangeable, he means them as the same thing. I didn't even have time to talk about the Fantastic Four. And, there's, and, there's, and there's, there's no time left to talk about mutants and how mutants are going to be But, you know what? All that stuff's been rumored. You've heard about rumors. 
And now it's finally time, it looks like, in 2023 in November, but who is going to be the cast for the Fantastic Four? Well, recently there has been a cast leak going around, and like I said, it's pretty interesting. Check this out. And I should also note that the Twitter account Main Middleman, who has a very good track record when it comes to leaks, stated not too long ago that they heard the official cast of the Fantastic Four will be announced soon. They said they believe sometime between early and mid next year, which is now 2022. They continued to say, by soon I mean on MCU time, where everything is always well planned. Anyway, I believe only the cast will get officially confirmed. And the names I heard, there are famous names and unfamiliar names, but I can say that most of them are very talented. So let's talk about this casting leak. This leak, we have no idea if it's true or not, but I kind of like who they have for Sue Storm. For Sue Storm, aka the Invisible Woman, they have Kristen Bell. Most of you probably know who Kristen Bell is. She's in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Veronica Mars, The Good Place. And I think as far as image goes for Sue Storm, she fits the bill. And she has really good acting range, so I think that she could probably pull off the Invisible Woman just fine. And if she can nail kind of the athletic ability of the Invisible Woman, I think she could absolutely crush this role. Now, for Reed Richards, we have Glenn Howerton, which is a very interesting choice, and I think most people would know Glenn from the show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He plays Dennis. The show is phenomenal. I love It's Always Sunny, and Glenn is an incredible actor. But of course, this role would be completely different than pretty much anything he's done. It's definitely different from Dennis. But if he could nail this role, I actually think this would be a pretty good casting for him. Now, for Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, we have Chase Stokes. Not gonna lie, I had no idea who this was until I looked him up, but he's one of the stars of the show, Outer Banks. And just judging off of how he looks, not off of his acting abilities, because I really don't know them, he looks the part. I think he could make a good Human Torch, and like the leak did say from Main Middleman, the cast is going to consist of famous actors and not so famous actors. But I think everybody is going to know this last name for Ben, Grimm, aka The Thing, this leak has Seth Rogen listed to play The Thing. Now, I had to wrap my head around this for a little bit when I first read this, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to have to as well. Keep in mind, whoever plays The Thing is going to be wearing a bodysuit. It literally doesn't matter if the person who is going to be playing Ben Grimm is jacked or not. And honestly, if this were true, who's to say Seth Rogen couldn't get in shape for such a huge iconic role? But my point is, it doesn't have to happen. It's gonna be a suit or CGI or whatever. They can make him look however they wanna make him look. The real twist to this would, I think, be having Seth Rogen play him for a comedic aspect of the film. And I think as long as it's not over the top, I think it would be pretty good because you gotta remember, there's a a lot of bickering and bantering between Ben Grimm and Johnny Storm. And Johnny Storm provided a lot of the comedic relief in the original Fantastic Four films, who was of course Chris Evans. So if you have an unnamed actor coming in, you probably want a big name actor coming in to provide that comedic relief, or at least play a pretty significant role in it, which is why I think they might have chosen Seth Rogen for this part. But again, this leak is not confirmed by any means. It's just made its way around online. But what do you think of this? It's quite an unusual cast. But if it were true, Marvel typically knows what they're doing. I don't think they've really cast anybody wrong. But again, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. How excited are you for Marvel's first family to finally be making their way to the MCU? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.